Good morning, crafty friends. This is Angie from the Honeysuckle Haven. Welcome to the craft train event today. How is everybody this beautiful Saturday? Yes, Saturday morning. If you are hopping on out there, say hi and let me know you're out there. If you are new to the Honeysuckle Haven, the craft train group, or craft around the clock, you'll have to let me know that. Um, we are going to do a, a fun little craft today using some foam board. So super budget friendly craft today that I think is super cute uh, that you can add to your fall decor. Um, it's easy enough craft that anybody can do it. You could do it with your kiddos, your grandkids. Um, just something fun for the fall. It could be left out through Halloween or you could leave it out all fall. Um, so I'm excited to show you this today. Good morning. Good morning. It is uh, bright and early this morning. I have my coffee ready. So grab your coffee and uh, we'll make a cute little craft this morning. Um, if you are watching on replay, let me know that too. I think if you are uh, coming back <laughs> to the Honeysuckle Haven or the Craft Train Group, if you're uh, just a regular, thank you for coming back. I so appreciate it. How was your first week of school? It was, uh, we don't have kiddos yet. That starts Monday. So it was just teachers, staff. Um, it was pretty good. Lots of meetings, but um, not too bad. It was getting up in the morning to a schedule, to an alarm was a little tricky, <laughs> a little rough, but we're making it. Good morning, Sonia. Let's see. I see lots of people hopping on. Thank you for joining this morning. Hope everybody's uh Weekend is off to a good start. I'm going to take a quick drink of my coffee and set this aside. Get it out of the way because I will probably spill it if I don't. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use some foam board. We're going to get started as you guys are hopping on and saying hi to each other. Um, foam board from Dollar Tree. You can get it at Dollar General, any craft store. I cut two triangles is what we're going to use today. And we're going to make some cute candy corn. For your fall decorations today and I just had a scrap piece of foam board look <laughs> all the triangles I've cut out of it I went ahead and cut it ahead of time and I just use a pencil and a ruler and measure out my um, triangles and then I use an exacto knife to cut it out you can use scissors it does kind of smash it a little bit so this is the best way um, these triangles are, just so if you want to recreate the exact craft, if you decide to, they are six and a half for the bigger one across the bottom, and then to the peak, the bigger one is eight and a half. So six and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and then the smaller one is six inches across the bottom, and then up to the highest peak is six and a half. And I just, I just drew them out. I didn't really have a plan on what size I wanted, but those are the sizes. And now when I cut my foam board, one tip that I like to do, and you probably already know this, but after you draw your lines, place your ruler or your straight edge on the foam board, and then run your X-Acto knife along that edge. And that just helps you to have a nice, clean, crisp line. Otherwise, if you're like me, you have a wavy S pattern by the time you're done. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get done, or get going with this. Not get done, get going. Drinking my coffee, watching from Georgia. Well, welcome, Cindy. Good morning, good morning, everyone. So with our foam board, for one of the candy corn, we're going to use some Dollar Tree rope. The nautical rope, this is the white one. We're going to use that. We're gonna use some jute twine or jute rope. We're gonna use some flowers and some paint. Pretty simple, really easy, easy, very budget friendly craft this morning. And we're gonna use some tumbling tower blocks. Now this one isn't, um, you don't have to use this one with the rope craft, but I just, we're using it as a base for our craft. It just makes it a little more sturdy. So um, you might want them if you're gonna recreate this. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining this morning. Okay, so we're gonna start, I have to wrap my brain around, it's early. <laughs> it takes me a little while to get going in the mornings. I am not a morning person. That's why most of the time when I do my uh, videos, craft videos, they're at night, late at night, because I am a night owl. <laughs> so morning time, whew, 
getting going. It's a little rough. <clears throat> okay, we're going to use this bigger foam, the foam board um, triangle, and we're going to just start putting some of the nautical rope on it with some hot glue this morning. And I'm going to start at the base of the triangle, and I'm going to put glue across the base and then lay my rope on there just like this. And I have some extra over the edge here that I'm going to wrap around to the back. And then I'll wrap the other side around, and where they meet, I'll cut it. So that's how we're going to start this morning. Aw, thank you, Kendra. <laughs> okay, this craft is super simple. It might not be for everyone, but it's very budget-friendly, and it's going to add a nice pop of fall color to your decor for very little. So that's the best part. And it's just fun to make, and anyone can make it. Okay, so I hot glued across the bottom of my triangle, flipped it over, and I'm gonna hot glue that side down, this piece down over here. And then I'm gonna flip this side over, and where they meet, I'm gonna use my cutters. Now with the rope, I find it's a little easier to cut the rope with cutters than scissors, because sometimes I have to kind of saw through it with the scissors. <laughs> this one, it, it's a little easier. It's usually one or two little snips and you're done. Okay, so we cut it, and it kind of stretches, which is nice. You can pull it really snug, pull it tight around your triangle. So the craft train event today, we have several amazing crafters lined up for you today. You guys will have to check out on my page. I have um, the list of all the presenters. There's also in the video description and on my page, uh, the link to the group. So if you have not gone out and joined this free group, it's a free group today and you get to watch all these presenters in one spot. Okay, so there's one. Now that I did one, we're just gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna do, I, I wrote it down how many I want. Four. We're going to start with four right off the bat. I um, feel a little shaky, I think, because I've had my coffee, a little bit of coffee, but I did not eat breakfast. <laughs> and it's early, and I was up around the clock last night with my daughter. Aw, thank you, thank you. We're going to Craft Around the Clock, yes. Also in Craft Around the Clock group as well. So you can go there if you are part of the Craft Around the Clock group. Go there too. You have all kinds of options today to find all the crafters. Find in the Craft Train group, Craft Around the Clock group, and on their own pages as well. So just finished breakfast. I did not eat breakfast yet. Like I said, I was up through the night. My daughter had a tonsillectomy yesterday. Um, and so, you know, even though she's 19, <laughs> this mama gets it. I set my alarm for every four hours to get up and check on her and make sure she took her medicine and make sure she was doing okay. So felt like she was back to when she was an infant and I'm up every few hours checking on her. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Okay. So there's two. We're going to put four on here and then I'll show you what we're going to do. Oops. This is very budget friendly because all of these supplies so far, I think pretty much most of the supplies I'm using today you could get at Dollar Tree. Those are the best kind of crafts because <laughs> if you're like me, you like to switch your stuff out. so. When it doesn't cost that much to make, that's even better because you switch it so much. Okay, cutting where they meet again. And gluing the other side down, and I'm just using a high temp uh, Gorilla Hot Glue, and I am using high temp on the foam board, and it's doing fine. Sometimes you have to be a little careful on what surface because it could melt your surface a little bit, but this is doing great. Glad to see you this morning. Thank you, thank you. Okay, one more, and then we're gonna take a break from this part of it, because I know this is not the most entertaining to watch, and I'll show you what it looks like.
And I'm wrapping it around the back just because the back so the back looks fairly nice it's not going to look as nice as the front because we have the seam of course but it's still going to look finished all the way around and you of course can cut would it, it would be really neat to make a really big one of these you, with the foam board because it's so budget friendly you could do any size that you wanted of these candy corn okay so there's our first four on there. Now we're going to paint them. We're going to paint the bottom because the bottom layer of the candy corn is yellow. I'm going to get a paper towel. And I'll show you for size reference. There's size reference because paper towel roll. So you can see about how big this candy corn is going to be. Pretty good size. Okay. We're going to lay that on there. And then I have a couple things. A piece of cardboard. You're going to need that and then your paint tray or your paper plate, whatever you want to put your paint on. And then I have Apple Barrel Yellow Flame, just from Walmart. That's the color I'm using for the base. This paint's really inexpensive. Good morning, good morning, thank you. Ocean breeze, and oh, that sounds amazing. I am from Minnesota, well, welcome, Patty, welcome. Okay, if I don't see your comments, right away i promise i do go back and look at comments so i know some people are like can you see my comments i you i can see them but sometimes when you're crafting and they're scrolling so fast you don't always catch them all otherwise we'd be sitting here all day if i try to read every comment right now but i do go back what kind of cutters do you use to cut the rope kathy these are just uh, my husband called them because you know i don't know the names of tools very well um, side cutters is what he called them and these came from ace ace hardware just little side cutters i use them for every for everything they're a handy little tool now i am just taking my yellow paint and painting right over this nautical rope and it it goes on really easy and that's another reason i use the white nautical rope because it was a nice backdrop for the colors to make the colors a little more vibrant. If you used the tan or the natural rope, you just might have to do some more layers and your colors might be a little darker, which is fine if you like a little more rustic look. All to your taste, whatever you like. And then you just kind of try to get in all the little crevices of the rope. Now you don't have to get them all. I kind of like it to look a little more rustic, but it really does go on there easily. It doesn't take much effort at all, as you can see. This did not take long to get that on there. And then I'm gonna work my way around the sides and the back. And I put it on a paper towel because, because it's soaking into the rope, it's not gonna dry really fast. So we're gonna have to be really careful here. I'm probably going to have paint all over me by the time I'm finished. I can use my uh, dryer, but it still will not dry completely. We're going to use it a little bit. Now I have some ends fraying up because the rope wants to fray a little bit. You just glue your little ends down if they pop up. No biggie. You could uh, I know you can burn, use a match or a lighter, probably not a match, you probably want to use some kind of a lighter <laughs> to uh, burn the ends of your rope if you would like so they don't fray. You could always do that as well. Okay, we're going to get, I'm going to try, I sometimes I tend to craft pretty fast and get through quickly. We get 45 minutes today and the next presenter is right after me. So we're trying to run back to back so you guys don't have too many interruptions today. So I have two different, can two different candy corns planned if I can get through it. I wasn't sure how long this one would take. And then if, if for some reason I just go really fast, I have a third thing <laughs> lined up <laughs> just in case. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, I think that's pretty good. You can always go back and touch up 
Leave your brush out just in case you need to touch anything up. So there's the first layer. And I am going to use a little bit of heat just for any paint that's on the whiteboard, on the foam board. First time off. Well, yay, Carol. This is not going to dry the rope. It would take a while. Okay. Now we are going to add, so I did four layers for the bottom. We're doing seven layers for the orange. So I'm still working on my first um, bundle of nautical rope. So we'll see how many bundles it'll take to do the whole thing. So you'll know if you want to recreate this, how many you need to purchase. We're still on the first one. And of course you use less and less the higher you get up on the peak because it's not as much area to cover. And I made an example last night, but I did not have, I just had loose rope, so I couldn't, didn't have a good idea of how much I used. So this will give me a good idea of how much you will need to recreate this. First time with you. Well, welcome, Melissa. Thank you for joining. Everybody's getting up and getting moving, having your breakfast and coffee this morning. Okay, how many did I say? Seven? Seven. We're gonna go a little faster here. Just putting glue on the front. Put your rope down. Make sure you have enough to wrap around the back. Wrap it around and glue it down. Pretty simple. This is something you could do with your kiddos, grandkids as well. Kind of fun. I keep flipping it around. It's just easier to turn it when you're hot gluing and I'm not reaching over this wet paint as much if I flip it around. And then just kind of make sure you're Pushing your rope together. Try not to have too much space between the rope. It's okay if you have a little bit. Some hot glue. Keep on going here. This is my fourth time watching you. I really all oh, thank you, Sandra. Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is just a really uh, easy budget-friendly craft. Might not be for everyone, everyone's taste. Just an easy way to put a pop of color on a bookshelf, on a table, setting, somewhere around the house, anywhere you could just place this. Mix it with your other fall decor. Okay, cute little gift for someone <laughs> that's budget friendly. It's not cookie cutter that you can just go to Walmart and pick up. Oh, I think I have fuzz from the rope flying or something tickling my nose. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. It gets a little faster because we're getting smaller and smaller as we go up. This is five. Two more after this. What does everyone have planned for this weekend? You guys have to let me know. I have to do a little, uh, I'm a slacker mom. <laughs> I have to go do a little school shopping for my son. One, it's not all my fault. I can't, uh, he, he has to take a little bit of the blame. He's a boy and he does not like to shop. So trying to get him to go shopping is like pulling teeth. So I'm finally going to take him to get a few things today. He just does not like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more. Move all my stuff out of the way here. Good morning, good morning. I see these people hopping on. I see all those hearts. Thank you. Sunshiny Saturday. Watch. Oh, I have to read the rest of it. 
because sometimes those comments just go so fast. But I will go back and read. I think that one was D. Was that D? Go back and read it. It's not sunshiny here. It's overcast, but it's still, the temperature seemed pretty nice. I was out there just a little bit while ago. Where did you get the rope? Patty, this is from Dollar Tree. Just their nautical rope at Dollar Tree. But you can use any. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure I get to talking and I forget what I'm doing. Didn't I say seven? Yes, seven. Ooh, I got that right in the end of it. Flip it over. Ooh, that one went kind of far, but that's okay. We're going to cut a little bit of the spray off. Now, hopefully, <laughs> watch me be short just a little tiny bit where I've had to cut a couple frayed edges, frayed edges <laughs> off. Let's trim this one and glue it down. We're just going to wrap this little corner right over, right here. And then we're going to do the orange. Love fall crafts. Me too. This is my favorite time of the year to craft. Fall and Christmas is just so easy and so fun. Yes, the cutters came from Ace Hardware. Just side cutters. Any kind of side cutters. Okay, there we have four at the bottom, seven in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I was counting on my example to make sure I did that. I don't know that we're going to have enough to finish the top. We will see if I need the second bundle or not. Okay, orange. I'm just using pumpkin orange, apple barrel, Walmart paint. And I'm just going to squirt it right into my tray. And you need a little bit more of the orange because we have a bigger area to cover. And then this is where the cardboard's going to come in. So I take my piece of cardboard and put it right in between my yellow and this new rope that I just put down. So that gives me an area I can brush up against and not get the orange all over my yellow. I hope that makes sense. So then you just take your paint and I can get right up there against that cardboard. I don't have to worry about making a mess all over the pretty yellow I just painted. And then that makes it very easy if you're doing this with one of your kiddos or your grandkids as well. And then you just brush it right onto your rope. Really easy. And you can use more of a darker orange. This one's a little more bright. A little more like, it says it's pumpkin orange. It's pretty, pretty bright. But, like, candy corn's pretty bright, too. Yay, caught you live. You sure did, Rose. In the morning. It's unusual for me to be on here in the morning. I was up early checking on Allie, my daughter Allie. If you guys were hopping on, she had a tonsillectomy yesterday, so I was checking on her this morning, making sure she had water and her medicine, let the dogs out, all that fun stuff that you do in the first thing in the morning, as soon as your feet hit the floor. Oh, good. I hope you guys like this. It's kind of a rustic spin on candy corn. When we get it all done, you'll see. Kind of cute. And I need to check time here. Let's see. Well, I was thinking I'd have time for two. We will see. I might have been thinking. <laughs> I just never know. Sometimes I go really fast. You just don't know how long. Sometimes it takes longer than I, this is taking longer than I thought it would. Now you can get down in between. If you see spaces in between your rope, you can get down there and paint that foam board. You could also paint the foam board before you put the rope on it. If you want to make sure the back behind all of this part is orange, you could definitely tape it off and paint it beforehand. Then, then glue your rope down and then that gives you a guide as well where to put your rope. Okay, we're going to get the sides, but I'll show you what it's looking like. Super cute. and. 
This is where you don't really need the um, tumbling tower blocks because the rope is thick and it's heavy. Once you get all that rope on there, it's a little heavier and more sturdy. You don't really need them on the bottom to hold it up, but we're going to glue a base on it when I'm all done. Okay, let's put our cardboard around on the back side. And I need more orange. It takes a lot of orange because we have a lot of rope we are painting here. Thank you, thank you. So you're a teacher, very nice. I'm a teacher, daycare center. Aw, that's awesome, Sarah. It is fun, isn't it? Most day. <laughs> we have, it's fun, I should say, it's fun all the time. Just like anything, you have your moments here and there, but I really enjoy it. Let's get my cardboard down in there. I would say my least favorite thing is just getting up in the morning <laughs> to an alarm clock. Uh, the summertime gets you spoiled if you're a teacher. You don't have to wake up to that alarm clock, which is so nice. And like I said, I tend to stay up way too late. I need to get better at not doing that. <laughs> okay, now I'm not gonna be extremely particular on the back here just for time purposes, but I will go back and on the back touch up anything that I need to touch up. I just want to get the majority of it on here for you so you can see. When I get off my videos, I'm always going back and uh, touching up and fixing little things or sometimes I change things a little bit. I don't like, like, I don't know, one of my crafts, I did not like the florals at all that I used. So I changed it complete, completely afterwards. get one thing in your mind and then it you know it doesn't always turn out the way that you picture it okay now all these little frays that's where I'm going to go back and glue all those down a little tighter but that's easy you just take your hot glue and glue those down flat set my cardboard aside here there we go look how cute I am going to get the top part and the side a little better here. I'm going to need a little bit more paint maybe. Get that edge and then I'll dry it on the foam board. And you can turn it any angle. You might see a little white. You can just turn it and make sure you get the majority of the white painted. Okay, pretty good. I think that's good enough for now. So it's going to be cute. Aw, thanks. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you. Thank you for all those stars. I just saw that. Thank you. And all the hearts. Thank you for joining with me this morning, starting your morning with me. Okay, now I don't put too much heat on that because you can melt your foam board. So you don't want to get too close. All right, let's see. We're gonna fold this over and lay it right on our paper towel. And we're gonna move this aside. Okay, now we're just gonna add the last few pieces. Um, how many did I do? Five, five for the top and it's white so we don't have to paint the top. Then we get to decorate it. We're gonna embellish it a little bit. Flip it over and you can see there's still a little bit of paint showing up on my uh, paper towel. It's going to take a little bit for this to dry. Now you can let it dry between colors if you have more time than me. You could do the yellow, wait a little bit, then come back and do the orange. Lazy Susan would come in handy right now need to get me one of those. I actually saw one, I think it was at Dollar General the other day, and I did not pick it up. I don't know why. And I don't think it costs that much. I just sometimes I'm like, oh, I can find a better deal. <laughs> I can get one at a uh, thrift store or something, and then I missed out. <laughs> I was going to see if I could make this stretch to the next row, but I might have to open up, well I am going to have to open up the next bundle. 
So if you make this size triangle, you're going to need at least two bundles of rope. But you can make a big one and a small one then if you buy two bundles. Make a big one and then you should have enough left over to make a little one because we're not going to use but just a little tiny piece out of the bundle to finish this one off. Okay, we're going to cut that zip, zip tie <laughs> off of there. We need two more. So this is just going to take a little tiny bit. And we are going to cut the peak of our triangle off because candy corn is a little kind of rounded on the top. It doesn't come to a complete point. So we are going to make ours the same. When I'm creating something, I always, always Google what I'm creating. If that's something that I don't create every day, that way I can see the actual image of it. I just pull up images, pulled up candy corn, even though I've seen them a million times. <laughs> just helps to have a picture right in front of you. Cute project. What are those cutters? They're side cutters from Ace Hardware. Side cutters is what my husband called them. I don't, I'm assuming that's the technical term. Okay. Two more little pieces and we are done with the rope. Flip it over. I'm trying not to get my white rope on any of the paint. I did not even put, have to put on my little finger protector. I'm not done yet though. I shouldn't have said that. Spoke too soon. Thank you for sprinkling this morning. Thank you for all the hearts. Okay. One more. One more and then we're going to embellish this cute little candy corn. And then if I don't have time, which I'm probably not going to, uh, Time to do the second one. I'll show you what I created. It's super cute too. If you don't like the rope, this is a different, I have another option for you. Because the rope isn't for everyone, this look. I like a little more rustic touch added to my decor sometimes. Okay, now when you get up to the end, it's a little trickier because you have very little surface to work with. And then your rope wants to fray apart on you a little bit, unravel a little. Okay, and then we're gonna glue this side down. All those little pieces. And then we'll cut the top off, the little uh, point at the top. My first time watching. Oh, welcome. Thank you. I have to try this. Super easy, super budget friendly. And a nice pop of color. Okay. I put quite a bit of glue. And my fingers are sticking to it. There we go. There's what that looks like so far. Now we're going to take our cutters and just now the cutters they are called side cutters because it's kind of at an angle right here and there's an open part when you feed the wire usually i use them to cut wire i want to make sure this flat part is down against the rope so i can get all the way to the edge and just snip that tip off just like that and then it kind of rounds out our top of our candy corn okay now we're going to glue some tumbling tower blocks at the bottom just to make a little stronger base. My table is not um, the most level. This is an old farm table. But, well, see, it, it needs a base. Sometimes it'll stand on its own with just the rope. We're going to glue these on the bottom just to make sure it doesn't fall over on us. These are just the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree. We're going to put, did I put three? Three at the bottom. Four was a little too, too long, I believe. Just, um, yeah, four was too many. 
So we're going to put three. I'll put the middle one on in the center and then put the two ends on is what I'll do. Try to get it as centered as I can. Still kind of wet. Put a little hot glue. Put your tumbling tower block on there. Got lots of glue strings here. I even painted some of the glue strings. <laughs> it over and get this side and this will give us a little more sturdy of a base flatter base to set it up what was the name of those blocks they're called tumbling tower let's flip it over where it's not torn just like Jenga blocks only they're a Dollar Tree so they're a little cheaper okay so there's that I need a good flat surface. <laughs> There's a, you can kind of see the edge here because my table is just so wonky. Okay, there we go. There's that, look how cute. So simple and so inexpensive. Now let's embellish it just a little bit and then I'll show you the other fun one that I made since we don't have time. We're gonna use um, a sunflower. This is Dollar Tree sunflower. This is not Dollar Tree, but they have all kinds of things similar to this. I've had this for a long time. We're just gonna cut some of this grass off of here to embellish our candy corn. Now, I'm just using my cutters again. I'm cutting across here. I know they have all kinds of fall florals out right now. So you, I'm sure you can find something similar if you want that. And then we're gonna use, these are from Dollar Tree. We're gonna use some of these little berry picks. Let's use three of those. Cut those off of there. And then maybe some of the little berry garland stuff, wherever that went. We might use a little bit of that. I'm not sure if we'll use that or not. Let's cut our sunflower off of here. I'm just going to cut it kind of kind of short. I don't need that real long. And then I need some jute rope. I'm about to the end of this one. I'm using the last little bit. Okay. Now we're just going to bunch these all up together, tie them with our jute rope, and then we'll put a cute little jute rope bow on it. I'm going to kind of turn my sunflower bend it down so that the sunflower is facing out toward me instead of up, straight up. Okay, cut you a piece of jute rope. Um, kind of want it kind of long because we're going to wrap it around here a few times. And I'm just going to wrap it pretty tight around my florals here. Pull it snug and then wrap several times and then we'll tie it. I just don't want these to come apart. Okay, flip it over and tie it in a knot. And then we're just gonna take this jute rope and tie it right onto the candy corn as well. Join group in case I cannot watch all the crafters. Aw, yay, Bonnie, thanks. I know the other crafters have been working hard preparing things as well. Okay, and then you just kind of bend your florals around. You make your own little bunch of fall flowers, whatever you want. And then I like mine at an angle on there. And then what's nice is you can take this jute rope and squeeze it right between your other rope and then you don't see it as much. It's kind of hidden and then pull it around the back and just tie it. You could tie it in a bow if you want to be able to remove it and switch it out. Or you can tie it in a knot and then just have to cut it off either way. We're just going to tie in a little bow for now because you know how I am. <laughs> I might see something and be like, oh, I want to switch that. So we'll just tie it on there like that. Cute. And then we're going to make a cute little jute rope bow just to put right here to cover up 
where we wrapped it really tight. Let's set this aside. So I'm just going to take my bunch of jute rope here and I'm just going to wrap it. I'm going to kind of spread my fingers apart. I'm holding the end with my thumb and I'm just going to wrap it around several times. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Make a big bunch. And then cut it off. And then I need another piece that we're going to tie around the middle. So I'm going to take that off my fingers and gather it right in the middle. Makes a cute little jute rope bow with lots of loops. Wrap your other piece around it. Tie it in a knot. And then we'll just glue that, hot glue that right onto that bunch of florals. And you can leave those two tails hanging down if you want. You can trim them up. I'll get my scissors here. Let's cut this shorter one. That makes a cute little bow. Just adds that little rustic natural touch. And then hot glue it right at the bottom here. Just like that. Oh, and I forgot. I want to put a little bit of ribbon. What time is it? Five minutes. Wow, this took the whole time. <laughs> I was a little ambitious when I had three things planned. I'll show you the other one and then we'll go. I have some little uh, rickrack, orange rickrack. I am going to just glue that right over my little tumbling tower blocks at the bottom. You don't have to do this step. You could paint them the yellow. Um, this just adds another texture. Another little design at the bottom. Just put some glue right around the front of your tumbling tower blocks and then around the side and glue it all the way around. Then it's finished all the way around your project. The front and the back looks nice. A little there. Wrap it around that side and then we'll glue it down and then cut it right where it meets. Oops, if I can get a hold of it. Okay, there we go. What do you guys think? Super cute, kind of fun. A different spin on candy corn. It's almost like the beehives that you've seen people make with the rope, the little beehives. Very similar, but it gives you just that little rustic touch, adds a pop of color for fall. Very budget friendly. If you have to buy two of these, um, you know, $2.50 essentially. Foam board, you could use cardboard if you don't have foam board. So pretty inexpensive. And then the florals, if you use whatever you have. Thank you for all those hearts and all those stars. Aw, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will show you. Here's the other one I was going to create. Same concept. I did a small triangle of foam board and then the tumbling tower blocks. And then I just used scrap ribbon. So if you don't like the rope, use all kinds of different scrap ribbon. I had this one that had the yellow with the polka dots. And then this is two different orange. I did a plain orange and then over the top of it, I did this one, the little chevron. And then the Dollar Tree chevron at the top, your little bow and a button, super simple. So that's another, and this one's really light because it doesn't have the rope. So that, you could, I mean, they still even go cute together. So those are just two ideas for you. If you don't like the rope, then you could always use scrap ribbon. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today. I so appreciate it. We have another craft, we have lots of crafters today. I was the first one, I kicked it off today. So after me is Sherry with Curvy Ladies Crafting. The link for her page and the group, the Craft Train group is in my video description. So you have to go check her out and check out all the amazing crafts today. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this inspires you and I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye.